Now then, YouTube, this is a quick update. This is episode 18 of the Grimsby Borough playthrough. I seem to have been doing this, like, it seems forever. Um, I'm going to continue on doing it, of course. But as you can see, in the last month, we've had five games. We would have had four, but I did uh, a range of friendly in there as well. Um, did we have five? Or five. Yes, we did have five. I was right. I did a range of friendly in the middle of there because we had a big gap with no games, so I thought, why not make some money out of the time? So I arranged a friendly against Motherwell, and we swiftly lost 4 0. Shame. But I did get £7,000 for that win against Motherwell, and that came in handy when I had to get rid of the, the, the uh, youth squad, the under 18s that had contracts. I did actually get rid of them. So as you can see now, I don't have anybody there that's taken up any wages a month. I do have to pay the rest of their contracts off, which the Motherwell games and the Kilmarnock games will both pay for. That's the next game. That's the friendly game. I had a long, long time, a long wait there, so I thought I might as well stick a friendly in there as well. Sorry, them two. I'm looking at the wrong ones there. But I had a long time there to wait for a game, so I thought... Why not get Kilmarnock? There's another seven grand, I think that is. So fourteen grand for two games is not bad at all. That's a good little money-making tip there for you. But anyway, the start of the month ended uh, began, should I say, with a win against Bridlington. A two-one win. It was a close-run affair. Liam Toomey grabbing an equaliser just after Phil Robson scored, and then in the last minutes, Jack Lamp winning the game for me. To be honest, I deserve to win that game, but never mind. Lincoln Marlands 4-1 victory there. They're just hovering above relegation, if not in relegation, so I expected that win. Whitley Bay, I expected a win, but unfortunately we lost 1-0. We couldn't claw back an 18th minute goal. And then Conchie got sent off as soon as he got brought on as a substitute. Disappointed with that. Needless to say, I think that's going to be the last game that Conchie actually plays. Barton Town OB. Old boys, that is. 1-0. Um, Managed a, a good win there. So, no points dropped in the league. I don't think. Nope. No, no points dropped in the league at all. So that's good. That means we obviously we stay in first place, but by five points now. We've got a little bit of a cushion going on, and there's not very many games. As you know, it is May. We haven't officially won the league, but <coughs> according to the fixtures, we're not far behind it. Three Premier League games left. Um, officially, we need two wins out of the three to win. I think we only need the one. I could be wrong, though. We haven't got any big players to play in them remaining league games, but uh, I think, you know, I know, well, I know, I'm saying I know, I really do believe that we will beat Liver's Edge, definitely. The other two are away, so anything could happen, but I do believe that we'll beat Liver's Edge, and hopefully that game there, the Liver's Edge game, will give us the title, and we will quite nicely waltz on into the Evo stick. Uh, north, south, or wherever we are. I can't remember. North, that's where we are. Yes. And then, obviously, the League Cup will finish uh, the season off, and then I will be recording the pre-season for you guys. Um, not next video, the, the video after that. So, as you've seen, we are first in the Premier League. The squad at the minute looks like this. Nobody's injured. Um, that's just showing you what uh, what everybody's on. I believe that Helio Andre is overpaid. I really do believe he's overpaid for where he is, but I'm still making money, so I'm really not bothered about that. Just serves me right for getting my assistant manager to deal with everything. Now, as you can see there, the average age has dropped to 19. Um, absolutely. <laughs> To be where I am in the league, I can't believe that all my team, you know, I've got an average age of 19. The oldest player I have in the entire squad is Elliot Seddon, the goalkeeper who's 23 years old. It really is very strange to think of it, you know, that these guys, every single person in my team is three years younger than myself in real life. So that's really, really brilliant. Finances. 
the meat and potatoes of every football manager playthrough. As you can see, this this line is kind of like, you know, like leveling itself off. That's because the the uh, extremities. I don't know. I don't know. How, I don't know how to fucking you know the the lowest and the highest um, are going quite up in value. We've got one million, two million instead of hundred thousands. So. As you can see, we lost 5,692. We haven't lost 5,692. I've got to say that now. What we did lose, um, we haven't lost that because I'll gain that back with my friendly. That's the whole reason why I paid them friendly is because we had to get rid of them players. Uh, let's see where it is. Player wages there, 8,636. But that is not what it usually is a month that's because I had to get rid of the players and so on and so forth um, as always if anybody has any questions then please don't hesitate to ask I will try to answer every question that I get but you know some people have been asking me how do I get a league this low it's quite simple I've shown in a, in a video how to add custom leagues you just have to add the league yourself you go to a website called fm-base.co.uk um, um, in there just navigate your way to extra leagues you know additional leagues that people have created additional databases and download yourself that one and then use my tutorial to put the league into action so you can actually play it it's quite simple um, if I can do it, any bugger can. So, no excuse. Uh, Jack Lamp wants to be rested. Oh, fuck off. Jack, La Jack Lamp wants to be rested. He will be rested, I think. I'm going to uh, rest him in the next couple of games. Just running up to the end of the season. Hopefully we can get this next win. And then I can rest him. So he's not going to be angry with me. Andrea Zola is already angry at me. Um, so the fact that... <sighs> you apologize for that. Fuck me. That came out of nowhere. Um, yeah. Andrea Zola's been moaning at me. He thinks he's better, you know, than I give him credit for. I beg to differ. That's why you're on the bench, Zola. Fuck off. Anyway, guys, there's a lot of people here that just haven't played a game all season. They probably won't play a game this season or next season, so they'll probably find themselves on the way out season end. But until then, guys... This has been part 18 of my Grimsby Borough playthrough. I have been the tough man. Stay safe.